This means the true Tawheed is that Allah is everywhere and this has been confirmed and was the opinion of the good people uh, but unfortunately some people uh, would only listen to the uh, people who had corrupted uh, uh, ideology and th do you Mr. Bilal Phillips do you care about the opinion you do not uh, do ijtihad in these issues we do ijtihad we do not imitate in these issues but since you take opinions of major uh, 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 scholars do you care about the opinion of Ali ibn Abi Talib Ali ibn Abi Talib do you care about his opinion well he tells you very this is the book I have it here I hope to paste it uh, Tuhaf al-Uqul Tuhaf al-Uqul li Ali rasul it's inverted uh, I think the camera inverts it so I'm gonna be forced to scan it or something it's saying uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib about Tawheed and it says that whoever limited God uh, let me read وَلَا لَهُ وَحَدَ مَنْ and did not achieve monotheism whoever uh, uh, made God finite or limited God وَلَا بِهِ صَدَّقَ مَنْ مَثَّلَهُ and did not be true to him whoever uh, may likened him likened him to anything لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ there's nothing like God so you cannot say God is like like in Sahih al-Bukhari which says you will see your God like the moon like you will see the moon uh, this is in the Bab al-Tawheed they asked the Prophet will we see our God on judgment day he said to them do you have a problem seeing the moon in a clear night you will see God just like you see the moon liken he likened God to the moon Allah says in 603 no vision can grasp him and his grasp is over all visions and also he says to Musa in 743 he said to God show yourself to me God said you can never see me This is idolatry, uh, uh, Mr. Bilal, uh, and the Sufis are actually closer to the Tawheed in those terms. The, now, there's two problems in the Islamic uh, world. Uh, some people attributed God's attributes to humans, and some people attributed humans' attributes to God's. The Salafis have attributed the creation attributes to God. They said God has a foot. He puts his foot on in hell and hell will say, Oh, enough, enough. This is in Sahih Bukhari. It says, uh, 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 he, 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 قط, قط. In tafsir of the verse, uh, uh, When Jahannam is saying, Are you filled up yet? Jahannam says, No. Is there, give me more. So God comes in and puts his foot in hell and hell says no no enough enough so what are you trying to say that God has a big foot so what is this God is what kind of idol is this a big a monster or something that has big foot astaghfirullah God is not limited God is not limited to a space or dimension to say he has a foot which will fill it is too big it will fill the uh, hell so uh, uh, here is uh, I told you if you caring about opinions of people I can give you opinions of many people and this is Imam Ali he says whoever whoever said uh, uh, where has limited him and whoever said how has likened him and whoever said when has timed him and whoever said until has uh, 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 I cannot translate this the point is there's all these attributes to God are shirk and the God and there's the dua by the infallible Imam which says Ya man huwa bi kulli makan 
a lot of uh, evidence from text and from the Quran from everywhere to say that Allah is everywhere and not limited in one place now the problem it's a problem when the idolaters say uh, Allah is concentrated in uh, uh, in this idol and it's the same problem to say Allah is concentrated only above the throne so Allah doesn't get concentrated concentration only for partitioned things if something is not partitioned it's simple Allah is simple is not complex